Jordan Eric Killian. Lacey Locke from Carmel Swim Club, Stephanie Junker from the University of Louisville in lane three, Brooklyn Snodgrass from Canada in four, Julia Giroto from Brazil in lane five, Melanie Claren from Mission Yale in lane six, Lindsay Morton in lane seven, and Christine, Christine Eng from the Scarlet Aquatic Club in lane eight, the 400 meter individual medal. A lot of people to tell you that without question this is the most strenuous and most difficult event on the Olympic program. Some will say the 1500 free and some will say the 200 butterfly, but for my money it's the 400 IM. Most painful? Most painful. It can be. I mean, I, I think if you ask a lot of swimmers, depending on what kind of shape they're in, it can be a very fluid event. But if you're not in shape, boy, you, you can have a lot of trouble. The problem is you're, you're, you're changing muscle groups with every hundred. You're going from a predominantly upper body stroke or the first two strokes to a lower body effort with a breast stroke and then back to upper body with freestyle. So Brooklyn Snodgrass from Canada in lane four, currently in second. Julia Gerardo from Brazil. Into 25 countries represented and this is the fourth uh, Grand Prix on the USA Swimming Series. 100 meters of each butter, back, breast, and then freestyle coming home. Boy, a very close group. Melanie Claren out of Mission Viejo in lane six, also very much in the mix. Final 50 meters of the backstroke. Diane, especially the two and I am, it's so much fun to watch because the lead can change hands so many different times. Well, you've got some swimmers with their strong strokes up at the front, some in the middle, some in the end. So you see a constant lead change, much more so than any other events. Scott Grass from Canada in lane four, currently leading Melody Claren in lane six. But it's going to be very close at the turn. Next 100 meters, Restro. And in between them, Julia Gerato from Brazil in lane five, currently third. I think you could say this with pretty much any event in swimming, but you always want to have a building feeling in the IM, especially when you go to those transitions from one stroke to the next. And, and if you ask the very best, it's almost like you're going into a finish of a race into each one of those walls. And, uh, and the best example that I give you is Ryan Lochte, uh, the world record holder in the 200 IM. He always talks to me about building each 50 or building each 100 in a 400 IM to have that feeling so you have great momentum going from one stroke to the next. Talked about Phelps and some of the other uh, competitors. Volmer, for example, going to Australia. Phelps going up and training at altitude. But how about from a course perspective? A lot of these, particularly the younger swimmers, are swimming a lot of 25-yard short course events, and now they're coming out to the Olympic distance pool. How much of an adjustment is that? It, it, it's a big difference. It's a big adjustment because primarily here in the United States, anyway, we only have 25-yard pools. There's not a lot of 50-meter pools to train in. And so, yes, they, a lot of these kids are coming from high school programs where they're coming from yards. And, and really, for some, this is the first time they're actually swimming in a 50-meter pool since last summer. So it can be a big transition, big adjustment. A lot of them handle it beautifully. You know, they can use those walls, and, and uh, but some of them have a hard time. I had a hard time today. I swam in this pool earlier today, let me tell you. <laughs> it's gotten longer I through the year. I was begging for those turns. All right, now is the 100 meter. They start to bring it home. Lacey Locke from right here in Indiana, the Carmel Swim Club, a very strong, Carmel Swim Club, excuse me, uh, a very strong breaststroke leg has taken the lead. Brooklyn Snodgrass from Canada in the middle of the pool, and right now they're battling it out. In lane three, Stephanie Junker from the University of Louisville. Strong so far through the first 50 meters of her freestyle. Well, right now, Locke is well on her way to go break five minutes. She was 5.02 in the prelims. And that is her personal best, 5.02.49. Yeah, you see her right there. She's looking very strong, though. Keep an eye up there in lane number four. Brooklyn Snodgrass from Canada. In lane two, Lacey Locke, who just turned 15 with a slight lead, with a slight lead, Lacey Locke out of Carmel, Indiana. In lane two, looks like she's gonna take it, push it towards the wall, holding off Brooklyn Snodgrass from Canada. So in a, 
Excellent and very tightly contested. That's Julia Dorado from Brazil was right in there. And then uh, Lacey Locke took the lead during the yeah. fresh throw and never gave it up. That big C, the folks in Carmel will be very, very happy. Almost a hometown girl, home state girl anyway. Be very nice to see a best time by what? Almost five seconds. 